It's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a rap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, yeah, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose wrong what you would do. It's a one stop shop, it's a rap, yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back. Welcome to It's a Rap where I help you achieve your finished look. In this video, I'm going to be using some of the products that just came in that big Mary Kay order that I showed y'all. So make sure y'all check that video out to see everything that I got. Now I'm about to use some of those products to get a flawless finish, of course, okay? So, first things first, for the foundation, I'm going to use the uh, Bronze W140 and to highlight, I'm going to see if I'm going to use the 120 or the 110. So we're going to kind of fill that out. So I ended up using the 140 all over my face and I think I highlighted with a little 110 and maybe a little 120. I wanted to kind of see, you know, how it will look if I kind of mix them together or whatever like that. So during this video, it's going to be um, me talking on the actual video and me doing the voiceover. So basically during the video, I was talking and telling you all how I like the new products. So, to kind of cut the video short, because the video got real long, y'all. I just said I was going to do it on a voiceover. So, this is the 110. So, I did highlight with the 110. So, this video, this footage is old, y'all. Um, this was filmed after I brought that big Mary Kay haul to you all. So this is me actually trying out the new foundation and all of that on camera for y'all for the first time. So one thing I will say about this new foundation, it is extremely lightweight. It feels just like the CC cream, but you get the coverage that you get from the previous version of the foundation. Okay, because I am extra, I'm gonna go in with the perfecting concealer. So y'all know how I feel about this concealer. I love this concealer. So I added some of this as well. And the foundation is really light, but it's buildable. So that's one of the things that I love about it. If you want a light feel, you can do that or you can build it for coverage. Now I'm about to go in with the powders and I'm going to use these today. So all of this came in the Mary Kay order. So I'm going to use this to set my highlight, this to set the rest of my face. I'm going to use these as my highlighting powder, these for my blush, and these for my contour. All right. So I'm just going to set everything um, the normal way I would do it with my uh, pressed powders, but I tried the new highlighter and the new contours that um, were in my new box. And the powders are buildable as well. If you're someone who doesn't like a lot, you can definitely you know just add a little bit but if you want more and you want to build it by all means you can do that as well so I like the darker blush and the darker contour we have tons of blush colors but those are the two that I uh, picked in that order so I love the cocoa contour and um, like I said I feel like they formulated everything 
so that if you want a little of the product you can do that but if you want more then of course you can go in another time and add more so that it could be more visible more um, pronounced more dramatic and to your liking this highlight is amazing y'all now we have had a whole nother um illuminating powder that came out as a limited edition but it is going out of stock so if that's something that y'all want to see please let me know so yeah i it don't feel like i have nothing on my face which is great if that's what you're looking for and it's just it's giving me a nice flawless look which i know that's what i like so yeah we're about to get into this eye look for the eye look i'm using the new eyeshadows so um y'all know i have one of these with all of the old shadows so i made this one with all of the new shadows so these shadows are deeper in color and let me get the old one so I can show y'all the difference. So this is the old one. And this is the new one. So you can see how the colors are deeper. And these are a little brighter. So that's the difference. Let's see what kind of look we're going to do. With these beautiful colors I just feel like these are like deep chocolatey colors like look at the purple and oh these colors are really pretty so I'm excited to get into these I don't know what kind of look I want to do if I want to do something like natural if I want to really get into some of the color some of the main colors that are in here is purple blue and green um, we have some kind of like nude shades like nude pinky shades and stuff but nothing like a, like a flat out orange or red or yellow or something like that so these are more like natural type colors um great for fall with all of the deep colors and everything so let's put a look together so for the look i went in with that shade under my brow bone so i kind of did like my traditional you know go-to look where i go light under the brow bone do like a brown in the crease area do like a darker brown in the outer V and pop something nice and shimmery on the lid. So that's what I did for the look. It came out amazing. I feel like the shadows have a nice pigment to them. And if you can, you know, add like an eyeshadow base or eye primer, it will definitely make them stand out even more. For this look, you see I didn't you know do a primer for these colors and they are coming up nicely all you have to do is just you know build them up so of course if you go in with the primer or eyeshadow base they are definitely going to pop for this lavender color I went in with some of that concealer to do kind of like a soft cut crease um, not anything too defined but just to you know damp in that area so that color can stick and pop and it really did and y'all know i like to do this with a fluffier kind of brush just to help pack that color on there I 
I did my brows off camera. Now we're gonna go on into the lashes. And I did get some of the lash products, so I'm excited to show you guys some of those. And some of this stuff is stuff that I used to use a while ago that I ran out of. So I'm happy to get it again. It is the Time Wise Age Fighting Lip Primer. So I already have some of the lip balm on, but I'm going to put some of this on as well. And while I do my mascara, I'm going to talk to y'all about the eyeshadow. But let me tell y'all what I'm going to put on. I'm going to put on the lash primer, which um, I love lash primer. So I'm glad I got some more of this. And I got the mascara that I really love, the lengthening mascara. So um, this is what the wand looks like. I love this one. So y'all going to get to see me put on both of these while I talk about the eyeshadow. So I basically kind of just told you some things about the eyeshadow but uh, I really like the previous collection and some of those shades are still available but they are you know slowly phasing out so if you are interested in those please reach out to me so that I can make sure that I order it for you. For the lip gloss, let me go ahead and apply that. These are the two that I kept for myself. And I'm going to use this one. This is just so pretty. So, and this is Sparkleberry. Hmm. I like this, y'all. It feels so good. I think this is my first time using one of the lip glosses. Mmm. That's it. It feels so good. I just want to do this all day. So I'm going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm going to pop my wig on and I'll come back and show y'all what the whole look is looking like. Alright, so this is with the Mary Kay mascara. And this is with my 3D mink lashes on. So if you're a natural lash kind of girl, go ahead. I I got to do the most tonight, so I'm about to pop these lashes on. So that is perfect. I love the look. Everything is popping, all the products popping. My skin looks like ridiculously smooth and like soft. So that's amazing. So yeah, these new products they hit in okay so these new makeup tutorials about to be lit because this 3d foundation about to change some lives out here and this new eyeshadow I'm telling you i hope y'all ready i hope y'all ready okay my link is down below so y'all can check out the website and you can uh, let me know what y'all want. I do ship to my customers. It's a little cheaper if I sh ship it versus if, you know, the Mary Kay website ship it. 
So yeah, y'all check the website out. Check out this foundation. Check out these eyeshadows. This eyeshadow is popping. I feel like it's not coming up on camera like how it's looking in real life. But oh, I'm going to have to post some pictures or something. But this eyeshadow is talking. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video to see me use some of the new products that I got in my first order. So leave me some comments. Um, let me know if y'all saw some colors in the palette that y'all want me to try or you know something like that some combinations or whatever put all that down in the comments so i can make sure that i film that for y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video it's a wrap It's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, hey, it's a wrap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would do. It's a one-stop shop, it's a wrap, yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.